Okay, bleep bloop. Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new episode with me, Swear Geek. Now, pretty much what we do. I already hate his fucking voice, it's continuously pedophilic. Instead, we're talking about MAGA edits. And her Someone who's not even a content creator, but one of those fucking fan cam accounts. Like, she's not even a legitimate creator. She's literally a fan cam account. Holy Christ. Nothing she against anyone this one. in this call. This is the problem with a lot of I'm leaving for the time being. Community. I'll be back when the video's over. No worries. No worries. Yeah. I'm demented. I'm going to move you back into watching the stream just so. Alrighty. Yeah, you can see my reaction. They're very dramatic. They're very. I don't know, sensitive. I'm gonna I'm do it for all of you as well, so y'all can just l watch the stream. Okay, I'm gonna do this on my own. If I guess would be the word to say, right? And <laughs> I guess I ended up in a stream where I ended up mentioning about how Megan... Megan? Um, she looked, that's British coming out right there. You fucking hear it. Um, none of this thought's not gonna be edited, so I won't be editing stupid shit like that out. Um, I've literally not even added gameplay to this. We are literally watching a YouTube video. Like, that is the most effort that I'm... So, you're literally stealing someone else's content. Got it. Putting into this mega edits. Just before you want to make some kind of point. Like, oh, he made a video. No, I made the most low effort video I could make on you. You still made a video. That I possibly could. So, you know, if you want to make that point, that's cool, but it's not going to fly. But, you know, it flew pretty easily. You still made the video. You still edited the video. You still uploaded the video. You added the text of, oh, she did it behind a block. She did it like this. You downloaded someone else's content so that you could have that Hogwarts legacy shit in your tags, which is basically content theft since you are so fucking lazy and such a fucking content thief the whole thing with this is that i said and and a lot of people know this like <laughs> is that basically with maggot edits is that she went into slug's stream when slug was trying to dox park and uh not park and tiger sorry salvo I never tried to dox Salvo, and I never made attempts to dox Salvo, but, you know, great job lying, Hugin. But hey, it's all a joke. Is that why you got arrested in 2020 for child porn possession? Yeah, Hugin. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee! And what ended up happening was I watched her basically go into this Discord... I'm sorry, not Discord, live stream. And she was basically saying, um, you know, that she didn't want none of her, like, messages being kept in the chat or none of that, like... Like, this is what I mean, like, some real, like, snaky stuff. Like, you could just see it, and I watched it with my own eyes. And this is the thing with her response, is it almost feels extremely defensive. Like, I've said something like that, and she's just gone absolutely skits. Now, bearing in mind, I also... Weird how it's all trust me, bros. Just like how y'all should trust me that Hugin watches child porn. Older as well. The <laughs> here's the thing. I, I told her that like what she does, like because she made out like my video was pathetic, right? Um, or there was something else along those lines. Basically, oh no, she tried making up lies about me. Um, basically saying that I'm lying. She she said, oh yeah, Twitter geek is a liar now, which it, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I'm, and there's plenty of people that can back this up. I can guarantee you even Salvo Pancakes would back this up. So again, you provide no evidence to everything you claim. You're nothing more than a pathological liar. So yeah. That's up himself. But anyway, moving on. With the entire scenario, say for instance, like with her releasing all of this stuff, She's gone on to basically say that, like, oh, he made a video crying about getting blocked, right? Like, that was the point. No. I think, like, if you came away from that video with that point, you'd need to be very stupid. Like, I'm you did make a video crying about being blocked. You then begged Sen to have me unblock you. 
you care so much about Twitter clout, you care so much about being blocked and unblocked on Twitter that you begged Sen. He like, oh hey, can you have slug a bag me? Where? Like a fucking little pussy. I'm sorry, but like you clearly didn't understand the video. And then you went and made a post of that and just went and showed everybody how stupid you are. Anyway, getting back to my little insult, I don't want to forget that because that's important, I think. The insult that I gave her when she <sighs> called me a liar was that, well, you're going to call me a liar. Let me give you some truth. You are basically a clipper for nothing. You are literally, quote unquote, the best clipper. And you literally do that for nothing, wasting loads of your time doing that and what you have like three children so what you're on twitter all day long you have three children and you've got all this time to edit like no not in any reality just so y'all know maggot edits uses those cap cut shits it doesn't take that she <laughs> that's the funniest thing he's he's assuming that it takes a lot of time to edit on cap cut but I will say this, um, hey, Hugin, you don't even edit your videos. Your content is so dog water that you're using pre-made templates on every single video that you make that you were like, oh, I can't find a template for this. I can't find a template. Your editing is dog shit. This is the type of shit that I would teach to like my eight-year-old cousin. Like, oh, hey, here's Windows Movie Maker. Oh, hey. Here is uh, Premiere Elements. Oh, hey, here's iMovie. You really want to talk about editing when I'm an actual professional video editor while you're nothing more than a British pedophile? Like, come on. Come on, Hugin. Is that true? But either way, uh, <laughs> this is the thing. She wants to go on and take, like, low blows, like pulling up a picture of my profile picture, which, bearing in mind, I... You look like a fucking weird, distorted turtle that got fucking fused with a human that's a literal fucking inbred. That's it. Put there. So, you know, nice W for putting up a photo that I put there in the first place. That doesn't really feel like much of a W to me, if I'm honest with you. I'm quite happy with my looks. Even, like, people in your comments were, like, saying... Yeah, the people in her comments were people that were on your side, such as... All of the Salva news team people, it makes sense why you're mentally incompetent and why you try and use this whole, oh, yes, I'm British, I'll sound smart. You sound like you fuck your sister. You sound like you fuck your siblings on a daily basis to the point where you knocked them up and then you're like, fuck, they're going to have both of our retarded genes. Wah. Like, goddamn. And I was cute. So, like, absolute L for mega edits right there. I'm sorry, but like, you know. But like, you know, so an absolute L is just what? Fucking Hugin being a pedophile? Like, come on, Hugin. You're gonna rape some kids at the local children's hospital again? Like you do every Friday? <laughs> I've got to say, even like with a message that I just seen right now, I have got one saying like, not gonna lie, I would let you wreck my life. She's got three kiddos that already wrecked hers. And it's just like, wow. I guess, um, <laughs> I guess Hugin's never been with a MILF. He's got no game, chat. He has confirmed that he has no game. He has no fucking game, chat. Hugin has no fucking game that he can't fucking get laid. That he's like, oh, she has kids. She has kids. And she's a MILF. I'd fuck a MILF. 100%. Like, think about it. Like, that's the thing. Hugin wants to bring in Maggot's kids, too. Yet, he, he got real mad. He got real mad whenever I brought up the fact that he works at a hospital. Yeah, Hugin, you're not very bright whenever you give me very easy info to cross-reference. So, yeah. And yeah, you're right, Maggot. He did support Salvo bringing up your kids. He's a flip-flopping fucking pedophile. Um, here's the thing, Maggot Edits. It's like, you know, you can come comment on my life and things like that. But like, I've done great in life. You know what I mean? Like you sit at home all day, clearly probably on some kind of benefit while you have your three children, um, sitting on Twitter all day and you don't really have much of a life outside of that because let's be honest, you 
we like a lot a lot a lot and you do you have proof of this or are you just going to continue to lie because i can make the same claim you don't have a good life hugin so that's the funny thing Hugin is one of those people that wants to pretend that they're competent, they're cool, they're collected. No, 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 no. He obsesses with everyone so much. It's hilarious. No wonder he associates with Salvo News Team people. And because of that, more than likely, he engages in life ruination. Tee hee. You do all this editing, MAGA edit. I just feel as if your whole entire point against me was completely unwarranted, right? So, huge in toaster bath. So you made the point that, oh, he made a video crying about people blocking him. Oh. No, like, again, if this was your take from that, you'd need to be an idiot, right? If you watch that video and you come away from that video and you say, oh my God, this guy made a video about people blocking him, then you clearly didn't listen to the video. The entire video is actually directed at Tipster, Exile, and Nicholas Diorio. Now, these are all people that have made points in the past about unblocking loads of people. Here's the thing. If Hugin can prove that you ever doxed anyone, I'll agree with him. But so far, there's no evidence of you ever doxing anyone. And Salvo was never doxed. I never doxed Salvo. Salvo was never doxed. You're nothing more than a pathological liar, Hugin. That's all you are. That's all you will ever be. You are nothing more than a fucking SNT follower with no fucking credibility. You're just a sad, sad little boy trying to get daddy's attention. Well, I'm here. You got my attention. Daddy's here and I'm going to beat you until an inch of your life. And doing this whole like unblock list kind of stuff. Not so much exile um, I wouldn't say, but Nick and, you know, tips the definitely. Okay. So you continue to cry about the block list being like, oh, I wasn't unblocked. Well, yeah, because you're not worth unblocking. You're not worth having within their community. You are one of those people that's so useless that you'd be better fucking as a vegetable. You'd be better on life support brain dead. You would absolutely be a lot better being fucking put down like the rabid fucking loser that you are like god damn oh they, they did a bunch of a blockage but they didn't unblock me mommy okay with exile it was more just kind of like light trolling telling her that i love her not that much of a big deal i don't think it's something that you should block somebody over okay who cares i block people all the time if they just bother me because hey it's a free country. Or are you are you one of those people that believes that if someone blocks you, they're infringing on your freedom of speech? Man, I might just make it so that you have to pay a hundred dollars to call in if I don't like you. You have to pay a hundred dollars. If you pay a hundred dollars and you're one of those people that I don't like, then I'll bring you in. You'll have a chance of having me bring you on stream hell you'll have a chance of me unblocking you for $100 you'll have a chance so then we go on to uh, the whole thing with uh, MAGA edits is that I guess it's one of them like for me is that you know the whole point hello hello this just in I am your local retard wrangler we have located Twitter Geek, a local retard. Please do call us back because we need to retrieve this retard and bring him back to the wood chipper. In the video is that these people put out the idea like they can take criticism and they do that by like saying, oh, I'm going to create, like, I'm going to go through my unblock list and unblock everybody. You know, I can now take criticism. I'm not a pussy. But, like, the thing is, is, like, not long after they've done that, like, they usually start blocking people instantly. And I just don't see the point in, like, coming on this grandstand of, like, I can take criticism. Fuck off. And the reality is, is, like, that's not the truth. Like, so, you know, you, if you came away from that video <laughs> at that point, that you... It was a voice changer. What do you mean? stupid you are than I originally thought. And, 
if you're gonna go on and try and insult me and try and send a hate campaign to my channel you have to prove someone sending a hate hate campaign because at this point you have done nothing but make baseless allegations and in the uk they actually have a much stronger case for slander and defamation than you would in the us and all of your videos Hugin, have been pr verifiably slanderous and defamatory because you have outright stated things that you know are not true you have done nothing but lie and slander multiple people just for the sake of a joke so in the uk law you're actually able to get your ass sued so i would hope someone sues you i hope someone sues you so fucking bad that you're bankrupt you're homeless that you fucking die due to lack of health care i hope the worst for you but let's continue with your pedophilic video at least have some good shit because like let's be honest maga edits what you had in your entire like little piece on me when you, when you went to twitter and uh i i guess like that's the idea for you isn't it it's like you know i'm gonna put this out on twitter and then i'm gonna attempt to try and make him look bad right or try and drive people to go towards my channel because you want to attempt to embarrass me like seriously somebody who has three kids spends all of our days on fucking twitter and edits for free like you literally don't get paid for what you do you are like sad as hell you are literally a token to these people that will eventually get replaced just like the same way Hannah Animal did. There'll be another person that will come along when you get bored and they'll start editing because you are absolutely nothing in this community. People like Tipster and Exile and people like that might want to make out like you're something, but you're a five minute wonder that will come by and then you'll go away because that's all that you do is crappy little clips. And even like your own edits that you try to post on like TikTok, it's like you, you claim to like maggot edits you don't do a lot of editing to your videos let's be honest most of your videos are either created in a phone app or if not that <laughs> they're, they're created in such a way where it's just like oh i'm gonna cut out a couple of little bits of this anime video i'm gonna resize it and put some music over it like that's that's literally what you're doing that's literally what you're doing that's what you're doing you fucking idiot you are literally putting your shitty fucking voice over someone else's Hogwarts legacy gameplay because you're too lazy to actually record shit and make your own content. Alongside that, you are making the most dog water fucking content that I've ever fucking found. You are nothing more than a clout chasing fucking hypocrite that should actually take a bath with a toaster. It's not editing. Sorry, it's not. But anyway as a professional video editor someone that's worked for multiple large companies coca-cola pepsi i've also worked for premier kites i've worked for multiple fucking companies i've worked for fucking universities i know that you might try and act like you're big and great with your fucking free trial that you try and make a new account for every month but hey hugin you may not like it, but yeah, a lot of people edit on their phones because they don't have a computer powerful enough to actually fucking run proper editing software. And a lot of the times you're able to get the same result as professional grade editing software with mobile apps. You might not like it. I might not like it, but that's the truth. A lot of these people, especially on TikTok, they use mobile apps for their editing services because there's a lot of integrations for mobile apps so i'm going to say this you don't know anything about video editing hugin your editing is shit in the first place and you're basically doing simple transformations where you're just doing simple movements across a fucking screen you do a little bit of a gaussian blur and that's it you're not doing anything special you're not doing anything new or fucking intuitive or innovative so you are literally the laziest fucking editor i've seen like, you are doing something that someone would charge a dollar on Fiverr for. Anyway, you know, you want to go on and make this entire, like, beef with me and stuff like that. You want to go on, write Twitter posts about me. I can be ten times worse, my edits. Ten times worse. So let's do this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Hey, Hugin, I'm going to say this. Uh, yeah, don't go after Maggot or I'll go after you. That's my one rule. Maggot, um, I'm just going to say this. Yeah, no. Hugin, go after Maggot. I want to have a new reason to go after someone. I want to have some fun with your fucking corpse. <laughs> oh, Hugin, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm going to fucking find you. I'm going to find you, Hugin. I'm going to find you. I'm going to have a lot of fun with you. You're going to be my new chew toy. I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> Just going full fucking demon. I'm going to find you, Hugin. I'm going to find you. 